Managing Digestive Issues in Children, Constipation and Diarrhea. Welcome, dear viewers. Today, we're going to talk about a very common issue among children, digestive problems, focusing on constipation and diarrhea. While these issues may seem simple, they can cause a lot of discomfort and distress for your little ones. The digestive system of children is very sensitive. This sensitivity can lead to problems like constipation. This is a condition where a child has difficulty in passing stools or doesn't go to the toilet as often as they should. It's a common issue that affects many children. Now, let's talk about the symptoms of constipation. If your child is going less than three times a week, or struggling when they do, they could be constipated. Other signs include stomach pain, bloating and loss of appetite. Recognizing these signs early can make treatment much easier. On the flip side, we have diarrhea. This is when a child has loose or watery stools, usually more than three times in a day. It's also common among children and can be caused by a variety of factors, including infections, food allergies, or even stress. The symptoms of diarrhea are also important to note. These can include frequent, loose, watery stools, abdominal pain, and sometimes fever or vomiting. If your child experiences these symptoms, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional immediately. So, what can we do to manage these issues? For constipation, increasing fiber intake through fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can be beneficial. Also, regular physical activity can stimulate the intestines, helping to relieve constipation. With diarrhea, the primary concern is dehydration. Make sure your child is drinking enough fluids, even if they don't feel like it. In some cases, a rehydration solution may be necessary. Remember, it's also important to continue a normal diet, as this can speed up recovery. Of course, prevention is always better than cure. Encourage your child to drink plenty of water, eat a balanced diet, and engage in regular physical activity. These simple steps can help prevent many digestive issues, including constipation and diarrhea. In some cases, however, these issues can be a sign of a more serious condition. If your child's symptoms persist, or if they have additional symptoms like weight loss or blood in the stool, it's important to seek medical attention immediately. Educating yourself and your child about their digestive health can make a world of difference. Understanding what's normal and what's not can help you identify when there's a problem and seek help sooner. In conclusion, digestive issues like constipation and diarrhea are common in children. With the right knowledge, attention, and care, these problems can be managed effectively. Always remember to consult a healthcare professional if you're in doubt. Thanks for tuning in to our discussion today. We hope you found this information helpful for managing your child's digestive health. Until next time, keep them healthy, keep them happy. Please share our videos with your loved ones and don't forget health is wealth. Thanks for watching.